Lesson 4, Generating and Reading Explain Plans You can display the execution path for a query in either of two ways, the set auto trace on command the explain plan command you can also use the corresponding option in the toad. You can have the execution path automatically displayed for every transaction you execute within SQL Plus. The set auto trace on command will cause each query, after being executed, to display both its execution path and high-level trace information about the processing involved in resolving the query. To use the set auto trace on command, you must have first created a plan table table within your account. The plan table structure may change with each release of Oracle, so you should drop and recreate your copy of plan table with each Oracle upgrade. The commands shown in the following listing will drop any existing plan table and replace it with the current version. In order to use set auto trace, you must be able to access the database via SQL Plus. If you have SQL access but not SQL Plus access, you can use explain plan instead. You can use the explain plan command to generate the execution path for a query without first running the query. To use the explain plan command, you must first create a plan table table in your schema. To determine the execution path of a query, prefix the query with the following SQL. In the toad, Display the explain plan, select the command and press the carriage button. Click the carriage button. Explain plan will be displayed. A full table scan sequentially reads each row of a table. The optimizer calls the operation used during a full table scan a table access fall. To optimize the performance of a full table scan, Oracle reads multiple blocks during each database read. A full table scan may be used whenever there is nowhere clause on a query. To resolve the preceding query, Oracle will perform a full table scan of the TB transactions table. If the TB transactions table is small, a full table scan of TB transactions may be fairly quick, incurring little performance cost. However, as TB transactions grows in size, the cost of performing a full table scan grows. If you have multiple users performing full table scans of TB transactions, then the cost associated with the full table scans grows even faster. To use an index during a query, your query must be written to allow the use of an index. In most cases, you allow the optimizer to use an index via the WHERE clause of the query. First, the transit column index will be accessed via an index unique scan operation. Within a query, you can specify hints that direct the CBO in its processing of the query. To specify a hint, Use the syntax shown in the following example. Immediately after the select keyword, enter the following string. Next, add the hint, such as full table name close the hint with the following string. Hints use Oracle's syntax for comments within queries, with the addition of the plus sign at the start of the hint.
for table accesses. The full hint tells Oracle to perform a full table scan on the listed table. In this way, you can force the use of the index. The explain plans of these queries are the same. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com